जाना तो है ही एक ना एक आपका लुक बदल गया यार कुछ नहीं दिख रहा। स्टाइल हैज इट्स लिमिटेशन मुंबई में और क्या? बड़ी यहाँ तो चलते चलते प्यार हो जाता है प्यार हमें हो जाता है उन्हें नहीं होता ना यही तो दिक्कत है नहीं हो जाता है उनको भी बहुत चल के चली जाती है सामने महाराष्ट्र शासन का अरे बड़ा ही लिखा है भाई पकड़ा गया तो क्या होगा मात्र कुछ नहीं लेके जाएंगे मारेंगे तेरा कैमरा का मेरे को एक बार जेल जाना है किसी के लिए मैं जा सकता हूँ the amount of risk one takes to get recognition नीचे नहीं चिपकाएंगे आप यार लगा लेंगे डन वन डन अभी और फोर्टीन टू गो तू फिफ्टीन लाया है तू आज चीजें जाते नहीं थर्टीन मोटर कहाँ लगाने वाले हैं आप मैं वही देख रहा हूँ देखो वहाँ पे थोड़ा उस तरफ कचरा ज़्यादा फिर अभी दो दिन भी कर दिया उधर भी हमने कचरे के पास लगा दिया है तो कोई स्कैन करेंगे ऐसी जगह ना लगा जहाँ पे फोटो मोबाइल की चला दें धन्ना जैसे वॉशिंग में नहीं क्या होता है करके पूरा ऐसा वैसा लगा चर्च गेट में चर्च गेट स्टेशन के बाथरूम में लगा देंगे बिगेन हेयर से डिस्क्रिप्ट आप इफ यू गेट टू हेयर द साउंड ऑफ बर्थ्स चर्पिंग which is pleasant or dogs barking which might not be as pleasant or some construction work you'll have to bear with me because i'm recording this at my apartment and i do not really have a studio set up i'm literally recording this in front of the window to get some light but at the same time i've had to switch the fan off and completely shut the window uh, so as to block some of the sound out i'm trying my best you see i can i'm sweating like anything because it's so damn hot and humid here but well It is what it is. Anyway, let's get to the point. You see, I never really thought I would do this. I prefer being behind the camera, but uh, I, you know, I've started to get a little sick and weary of the entire voiceover narration thing that I've been doing in my videos, and I realized I needed to, you know, change things up a little bit. And so, you know, to let's say do the storytelling better, I realized. I have to come in from the camera every now and then, and that's what I'm doing right here. Uh, but the reason, the main reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to talk about photography. So, you see, I do not really like to call myself photographer. I, you know, I would much rather call myself a hobbyist photographer. Now, what is 
hobbies photographer you might ask and well to put it simply I'm that guy in a friend circle who always carries the camera around who takes pictures of their friends and things they see on the streets you could also call that a street photographer but you know the, photo the photographs are usually personal so yeah I'm that kind of photographer but right from the beginning ever since I started you know photography as a hobby irrespective of whether I was taking pictures on a phone or with a DSLR or with a mirrorless camera I've never really liked the look of you know digital images I mean they're so damn real and you know over sharpened that they lack any character and uh, right when I you know around the same time that I began photography as a hobby or it became a hobby I did not pre-plan <laughs> photography becoming a hobby but yeah you get the point when I began photography uh, around the same time uh, film photography was making a reemergence <clears throat> and I found myself uh, gravitating towards the look of film photography so initially I would you know take photos on my phone and then I'd use certain apps like Visco to edit them to give them the look of film but and they did a decent job you know for the purposes of social media but at the end of the day irrespective of what app you use and how much you you know desaturate or how much you you know soften the images or how much grain you add to it eventually digital is digital you have to understand that these are two completely different processes one is an electronic process while the other is a chemical process and so the results that you get out of you know the two are very very different so i realized i'd have to buy a film camera because you know i was obsessed with the look of it and you know fortunately for me some of my friends indulge in film photography Devansh, Samit and Krishna all three of them do some amount of film photography so I reached out to them to help me out in purchasing a film camera and they were kind enough to oblige Krishna was not in town at the time and so you know he couldn't join us but Devansh and uh, Sumit did and he has joined us as well uh, and so yeah we went out looking for film cameras you know because you have to buy them you know say, yeah, from uh, let's say thrift shops or you basically you do not get to buy brand new film cameras anymore at least affordable ones and so we went around you know the camera street or whatever in South Bombay looking for you know film cameras while Devansh put up posters for his you know photo walk called night patrols and not what the update on that is because it has almost been like a month since he put those up I'll have to check खूब शूट किया था अगर इसमें फिर तब तो सस्ता भी था अरे बहुत मजे आते थे यहाँ तो आ जाओ मजे आते थे बहुत उसके बाद रेट बढ़ने लगे लॉकडाउन लुक सेक्सी बनता है Yeah, 
सेल्फ मार्केटिंग कैंप आपकी हाइट के नहीं है सब मेनी मोर लेफ्ट फोर यू इंस्टॉल सो इलेवन इस कमेटिंग टू kind of hustle you have to do for work community banayenge bro ladkiya chahiye tujhe sare haath pair chalne chahiye bhai iske liye bumble hai mere ladkiya we'll have a conversation about this later तो ये दिग्विजय घोष का नया फिल्म कैमरा है वेरी फर्स्ट फिल्म कैमरा और कसीना सी टी वन सुपर और पेंटेक्स का लेंस है पेंटेक्स का लेंस है 1.7 पॉइंट सेवन आई पोर्ट फिफ्टी एम एम का लेंस कैप नकली है <laughs> क्योंकि और इस पर पहले से ही स्क्रैचेज हैं तो आपको ओवर लेकर जरूरत नहीं है हेयर टेक्सचर के साथ आएगा डट डेज विंटेज ग्रंज जाएगा ग्रंज तो ये ये हमारे सुमित मात्रे भी जुड़े हैं इस प्रोसेस में तो आज हम वी हैव सी टू हंड्रेड हाँ बैट वुड भी एक्सपायर बट सी टू हंड्रेड दो सौ पचास रुपये का इसने लिया है वन एटी रुपीज का मैंने लिया था और अब भी इसका रेट बारह सौ रुपये चल रहा है मार्केट में तो अगर आप लेना चाहते हैं तो मत लें मत लें फिल्म और फिल्म फोटोग्राफी छोड़ दें देखिए मुझे तो अमीर पार्टी है तो इनके पास है द स्पीड ऑफ टू हंड्रेड विथ थर्टी सिक्स एक्सपोजर्स एंड दे वॉन्च इज कॉम लोन द फिल्म प्लीज तो प्रेशर दे दिया तुमने आप सीख लीजिए ये वीडियो वापस रिवाइंड करके देखना है आपको ट्यूटोरियल तो बाद में होगा ये अभी चल रहा है मेरे जो मैं शॉर्ट वीडियो सा बनाऊँगा उसके लिए चल रहा Soon we have to buy a bulk load of films. So. तो कई बार ऐसा होता है कि फिल्म आप डालते हैं और इसमें अटकती नहीं है इसको चेक करने का एक तरीका है कि जब भी आप फिल्म रिवाइंड करेंगे तो एक मिनट हमें ऊपर दिखाएं हमने शराब मंगाई सेलिब्रेट करने के लिए तो वो आ गए दुए हाँ एक पाँच सौ पचास तो मैं कह रहा था कि अक्सर ऐसा होता है कि आप फिल्म लोड कर देते हैं मगर वो अटकती नहीं है तो लूज रह जाती है तो होती नहीं है आपकी वो आगे फॉरवर्ड और फिर फिर क्या होता हाँ फिर ये होता है कि ब्लैंक होता है रोल क्योंकि आप रिवाइंड कर देते हैं पूरा रोल और कुछ उसमें एक्सपोज तो नहीं होता तो ट्रिक ये है कि जब भी फिल्म रिवाइंड होगी तब तो आपका ये स्पूल भी घूमेगा साथ साथ okay. आप वापस इधर आए नीचे इस पे फोकस करिएगा जब ये रिवाइंड होगी तो वो भी घूमेगा मतलब इट इज़ अप्रोप्रिएट कर लीजिए तो एक्सपोजर थोड़ा बस अभी आपकी एक दो फिल्में दो दो जा चुकी ऑलमोस्ट ढाई ढाई भी नहीं डेट जाती है आधी अभी आपकी कटी हुई आएगी वो लेकिन वो एस्थेटिक होता है तो पहली फोटो रिवाइंड कर दिया है हमने तो अब हम और थोड़ा नीचे चलते हैं दोस्तों तो साठ पे आ जाते हैं नीचे और तो क्या तो तो टेढ़ी मेढ़ी फोटो भी चल जाती है अभी भी अनुर एक्सपोज बता रहा है वन बाय थर्टी पे आ जाते अब तो क्या कर दो सर आप करते जाओ एक एक स्टॉक गिनते जाओ सर आप पंद्रह पे आ गए हैं आया तो घोष बाबू की पहली फोटो 
Ben... Abi. So why Phil? I mean, obviously it does have a look to it. But is that a reason good enough to spend so much money on something which is more of a hobby? You see, a lot of people would say it's, you know, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to spend so much on, you know, film photography, especially because, you know, film rolls these days cost a lot. Like this one right here has a Fuji color C200 inside of it. And that currently costs around uh, 1500 bucks. So that's quite expensive because then you have also have to pay for the processing and for like one roll you get just 36 images right provided you get all 36 of them right because it's a manual camera and so the margin of error is quite high so most would say that it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to invest so much money into a hobby especially you know if you do not have a whole lot of money but I do have some kind of a justification for it. You see, nostalgia is a central theme with respect to how I see things and with respect to the kind of stories that I like to tell. And uh, film photography, you know, with the kind of character that it has, it helps me achieve that flavor of nostalgia in the photographs that I take. Also, I think film photography is very liberating because, because of the limitations, you take a whole lot of time to frame a picture, you wait patiently to take your pictures, and when you're out with your friends, you do not just spend your time trying to take pictures and trying to get the right shot. You take your time, you take a few minutes maybe, you try to get the exposure right, you take a picture and hope that it has come out well, and then you go back to being in the moment and enjoying with your friends instead of just you know fidgeting around with the phone or the camera that you have with you because when you have in excess of anything you're focused on trying to you know for lack of a better word exploit it to the you know to the maximum of its capacity right because you're always if you're a perfectionist you're always looking for something better you know you're always looking for improvement but this is the thing when it comes to film photography it's not about perfection it's about emotion it's about being in the moment so yeah even if it is expensive i think it makes a whole lot of sense to me it might not make a whole lot of sense to others and that's completely okay at the end of the day you know art is subjective and photography to me is not just about artistic expression it's very very much associated to you know memory to my memory of you know things and places and people so yeah this is going to be a new journey and I am really looking forward to it I've already spent a month with this camera and I've taken like all the pictures I could with this I'll get it developed and hopefully you'll get to see the results even I do not know how it will turn out to be but yeah I'm really really looking forward to what this role of film that I have, you know, used up entirely has to offer once it is developed. So watch out for that.